there and welcome to the Ferry House in Virtual Tour. I hope that you are all well and staying safe at home. We are at home as well, so we have put together as best we can a virtual tour for you to give you an idea of what your wedding could look like at the Ferry House Inn. Thank you for waiting so patiently on our waiting list for us to be open again so you can come and look around for real. We really look forward to welcoming you and we hope that everything you see gives you an idea of how great your wedding here could be. If you would like to have our brochure, we have an online version as well as a postal version, so do request them on our website. And we are available if you would like to book a call with us to discuss your wedding and any dates available. I hope you enjoyed this tour. We've done the very best we can for you, so bear with us and here we go. And here we are at the bottom of about a four mile long country lane, well signposted from the main road. Coming in through our car park, we've got over 100 spaces, so plenty of room in the car park there. You can just see our kitchen gardens up the back here as well. So we're a farming family, arable beef, and shoot our own game on the estate for the chefs. So uh, the provenance of our food was incredibly important to us way before it even became trendy, but we're very lucky to have a huge kitchen garden now that supplies us all year round. As you can see, the views along the frontage there are all of the estuary, so water as far as round as you can see, and then along the back is all farmland, so very lucky with our surroundings. These pictures are actually all different times of year, summer through to winter. Just every set of photos here never looks the same, it's lovely. There's so many different places to go on the property and surrounding that look completely different in different seasons and just really unique photo opportunities which makes it really special. As you come along the front here you can really see all the lawns, you've got a private wedding garden and then a multi-use lawn in the middle there which is really handy if you want to get a big group shot in. Up here we've got our powder rooms. This is probably where you'd like to start the day, getting ready in the morning with your bridal party, having some uh, bubbles in the morning and having some music on and just really relaxing. We'll do your brunch platter, make sure that you're all fired up and ready for the day, getting ready with your hair, makeup, anybody else that you need in the morning in relative calm, hopefully. Guests can come along the front here when they arrive into the main bar and have a drink before the ceremony if they would like to. Main bar will be open. And just through this door here, you'll see our main bar, which stocks plenty of local drinks, including Copper Rivet Gin, which is made at Chatham Dockyard from the grain that we grow on our farm. Stock a lot of their premium gins and vodkas, really great local products. The lounge here is where private hire starts if you're having shared hire. Exclusive hire is available as well. Only about 10 to 15% of our weddings actually choose exclusive hire. Um, when you come to property, you'll see how spread out it is and the fact we're not a drinker's pub, we never get people going into a wedding or anything like that. Into the barn now and this is all as it comes. So this is with no decor at all and you can add to it whatever you'd like. You either give that to us and we'll put it out or your stylist or florist can come in in the morning and do it. The hops and the lights are included, all the fairy lights. And then you can just add to it whatever you like, as little or as much. So we provide for you all of the chairs. All of these are our chairs and the ceremony takes about 30 minutes. We book the registrar for you. And at Christmas time, we provide a neutrally dressed tree of gigantic proportions. Looks very uh, festive in there. If you're having a summer wedding and you would prefer to get married outside, that's no problem. You can marry in the gazebo overlooking the water. There's plenty of space there for all your guests. There's a full speaker system outside for your music. And again, we book the registrar for you and take care of that. After you'd have your drinks reception and canapes out here, so you choose your canapes at your menu tasting and drinks you can have on our rustic drinks cart, several choices, mocktails, cocktails, uh, beers in wheelbarrows, whatever you'd like, you can have a selection there to offer your guests. Play some music outside as well or have some acoustic singing or a band. And some people like to have some hay bales as well, sit down and have speeches or tell stories, that kind of thing. All no problem, got plenty of room out there. 
After the ceremony, we'd be relaying the barn for the wedding breakfast if you were going to have that in here rather than the event suite. So in here we can seat up to 70 and these chairs are our chairs. The previous picture was hired in chairs that the stylist got in for that couple that wanted cross back ones and our linens are the white ones. So any colored linens you see again have been stylist provided. In here in the event suite, you can dine in here if you are more than 50 guests, up to 150. This is just a plain setup today with no decor again to show you the starting point. And the doors all completely open back, so they are bifold doors, so they really open out on a summer's day and are as much into sort of a garden wedding as you could be really, as really makes the most of the panoramic view. All of these decor images have been uh, styled by our recommended stylist, Idyllic Days. We really recommend going with a ceiling decor in here, it really adds that wow factor. For the winter weddings in the event suite, heating's no problem. We've got full underfloor heating as well as blower heating if we need it. During the day, the evening part is screened off with a white screen, so you can't see that while you're sitting down for the wedding breakfast. Then we take the screen down ready for the evening, just G's everybody up a bit from being sat down all comfy and lovely for the meal and the speeches. For the evening, there's a choice of either a white LED dance floor or a wooden floor. We've also got love lights you can add if you wish, so that's the wooden floor just there. Our DJ's rig you can also see there is from our DJ that's included in the package. Uh, he will take a list of song choices for, from you and there is also plenty of room for a band should you wish to have a band as well, that's absolutely no problem. We've still got use of the main bar but you now also have use of the barn bar as well. This opens for the evening reception if you've had your wedding breakfast in the barn because the doors are blocked during the wedding breakfast. But if you've had your wedding breakfast in the event suite, it opens straight after the ceremony. So as you can see, the views across the water down through the gardens are just incredible. We tend to find that most people have the majority of their group pictures done during the drinks reception time straight after the ceremony. But then we really recommend for more couple pictures going off um, after the wedding breakfast and the speeches when you're a little bit more relaxed and the light at that time of day is really for much kinder as well and your photographers will be really pleased if you can get down to the water with them kind of around just before the evening reception starts. Down here in the wedding garden we've got our fire pit which is a package extra. We will come out here and toast marshmallows for your guests, have some music playing, just have a really lovely atmosphere for people that want to get away from the dancing for a little while. And then just further down here, we have got our rose arch, which is a real popular, firm favorite for photo opportunities. As you can see in full bloom there, it is really spectacular. Dogs are also welcome. Um, <laughs> he's a very popular little uh, chap there from all of our pictures, always gets commented on. And around here, we've got our secret garden. So this is just for our wedding couples, no guests, and it's just around the back of the event suite. So it's a little bit private. You can come up here, take a bit of time out together, have a cocktail together, have some pictures, uh, go for a little walk, that kind of thing. Just a nice little private space, just to get a little bit of time out on what can be a really fun but hectic kind of day. Just to uh, take some time together is really special. Up there is just our kitchen garden, so that's our polytunnel and our greenhouses and all of our beds where we grow all our food. So included in all our packages are the five bedrooms that are directly above the inn, so that is including this Super King bridal suite. All the rooms are en suite and include breakfast, so there's the Super King suite that we're in now, and then there are three king size rooms and one twin room, so sleeping ten people in total upstairs. Then you have a further six bedrooms in the coach house which sleep another 12 people and we can also accommodate some children in these rooms in camp beds or cots if required. They are really large rooms so they've got plenty of space for that if you need to. Again these rooms all include breakfast and these rooms are held for your guests to book up until three months before by a secret code on our website unless you choose to add them to your package or you have exclusive hire, in which case they are all included. So that makes the accommodation on site in total 22 adults plus a couple of children or babies if you need them. 
as you can see all of these coach house rooms are incredibly spacious so these have only been open since August 2019 so they are very new and they're just located just above the powder room this is room 7 all of them are ensuite showers except for room 6 the previous one we were in which has the copper bath as well We've then got Mockets Farm Cottages which is just around the corner, so a couple of minutes walk. These are five self-catering cottages, extremely spacious if you'd like to get ready here or stay the night before with your bridal party, there's a games room as well then of course you're more than welcome to. Combined these cottages can sleep 50 adults plus children but you can hire them individually as well and you can get the tractor down to us as well if you'd like, our vintage tractor can bring you in. So that gives you a bit of a tour. I hope you enjoyed that and we will really look forward to seeing you as soon as we can. Do feel free to book a Zoom show round consultation with us if you'd like to discuss your wedding day more or find out about available dates. Take care and I hope you all stay well. <laughs>